Welcome to our channel. Today we are discussing scams which typically occur during the nightlife in Southeast Asia. Did you know that over 40% of tourists in Southeast Asia report encountering scams during their trip? That's nearly half of all travelers. It's a staggering statistic that highlights just how prevalent these scams are. Whether it's your first time visiting or you're a seasoned traveler, being aware of these potential pitfalls is crucial. In today's video, we're going to focus on the dark side of Vietnam's nightlife. Bar and restaurant scams, photo and taxi scams, hotel and tour company scams, motorbike rental scams, and more. And we will discuss how you can spot and avoid them. And be sure to watch this video all the way to the end so you can receive legitimate contact information for hotel, taxi, and tourist companies as well as emergency contact information. Vietnam is known for its vibrant nightlife, bustling streets, and warm hospitality, but lurking beneath the surface are scammers waiting to take advantage of unsuspecting tourists. These scams can range from minor annoyances to serious threats that can ruin your vacation and drain your wallet. Imagine you're out for a night of fun in Ho Chi Minh City or Hanoi, enjoying the local culture, food, and drinks. The last thing you want is to find yourself in a situation where you're being overcharged for drinks, handed a fake bill, or worse, having your drink tampered with. Unfortunately, these scenarios are all too common. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll be armed with the knowledge you need to navigate Vietnam's nightlife safely. We'll uncover the tactics used by scammers and provide you with valuable tips to help you identify and avoid falling victim to these scams. So stay tuned, stay informed, and let's make sure your visit to Vietnam is both memorable and scam free. So let's begin our discussion on the murky waters of Vietnam's nightlife scene. Vietnam is famous for its bustling cities, delicious street food, and lively bars and clubs. However, like any popular tourist destination, it also has its darker side. These scams can range from being mildly annoying to downright dangerous, and they can happen to anyone whether you're a first-time visitor or a seasoned traveler. Scams are especially common in popular tourist areas like Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi. These vibrant cities attract millions of visitors each year, and unfortunately, where there are tourists, there are also scammers looking to take advantage of them. The bustling nightlife scenes in these cities offer countless opportunities for fun and adventure, but they also provide a fertile ground for various scams. The risks involved in falling victim to these scams are significant. So let's get into these scams so we can show you what to look out for and how to avoid becoming a victim. The first scam we want to discuss is drink tampering. When it comes to drink tampering, you could find your drink has been tampered with, leaving you feeling disoriented and vulnerable. If you don't carefully guard your drink, you might end up losing a significant amount of money which can put a damper on the rest of your trip. Be very cautious if someone offers to buy you a drink. Always keep an eye on your drink and never accept beverages from strangers. There have been tourists who accepted drinks from seemingly friendly locals only to find themselves feeling dizzy and disoriented shortly thereafter. Scammers may offer drinks that have been spiked with illegal substances to make you feel dizzy or disoriented. Minimize the possibility of having your drink tampered with. Keep a watchful eye from the moment you order your drink if you are not able to purchase the drink directly from the bartender. If you ever feel uneasy, after consuming a drink, seek help immediately. The next scam is overcharging for drinks or food. 
Be watchful for the scam of overcharging for drinks or attempting to scam you by confusing the currency. You might walk into a bar, order a drink, and receive a menu with what seems like reasonable prices. One of the most common scams involves overcharging for drinks. Overcharging typically occurs when you don't know the exact exchange rate. Therefore, some vendors alter the price or don't give the correct change. They may even claim that tipping is mandatory. Avoid this scam by checking the exchange rate and be clear on the price. And remember, bargaining in Vietnam is fair game. Also, on the issue of pricing, beware of restaurants that don't display prices. You don't want to end up paying exorbitant prices after it's all said and done, and this applies to both restaurants and street vendors. Ask for a menu or the prices before ordering. You can also have a guide assist you to avoid being taken advantage of. In some cases, people have reported losing hundreds of dollars in a single night due to inflated drink prices or fake bills. Some bars even have two sets of menus, one with normal prices for locals and another with exorbitant prices for tourists. Then there's the issue of fake bills. It's not uncommon for bars to add items to your bill that you didn't order or inflate the prices of what you did order. One traveler reported being charged an outrageous $200 for a single beer in a shady bar in District 1. They had no choice but to pay up to avoid confrontation. Always double check your bill before paying and question any discrepancies. A significant factor in this type of scam is the lack of clear pricing. If prices aren't clearly listed on the menu or seem excessively high compared to other places, this is a major red flag. So remember, ask for a menu and double check the prices before ordering anything. Another red flag is pushy staff. If the bar staff insist on you ordering certain high-priced items or pressure you into buying more drinks, take it as a warning sign. If the staff are hesitant to provide clear pricing or if something feels off, trust your instincts and find another place to enjoy your night. Also, be cautious of unusually friendly locals. While Vietnam is known for its warm hospitality, be wary if someone is overly eager to take you to a specific bar or club. So be on the lookout for unusually friendly locals, pushy staff, and unclear pricing. This could be a setup. And scammers often work in teams, and their friendliness is a tactic to gain your trust before leading you into a trap. Legitimate establishments won't force you to spend more than you're comfortable with. If you feel pressured, it's best to leave immediately. And now we will discuss pickpockets. Always beware of pickpockets. This is one of the most popular scams in Vietnam. Pickpocketers can work alone or in tandem with others. This especially occurs in crowded areas such as bars, clubs, public transportation, and markets. Jewelry, cell phones, and wallets are prime targets. The next scam is photo scams from street vendors. Some street vendors target Western tourists who are alone or first time visitors. These scammers may offer to take your photo next to flower baskets, fruit stalls, or other items, and then demand payment. While remaining polite, you should refuse their offer. 
And if they are persistent and continue to follow you, an action you could take is to stop by other shops and remain there for a while until they leave you alone. The next scam we'll discuss is the motorbike rental scam. Unlike living in the United States, motorbikes are the most common form of travel in Vietnam. Scammers may, therefore, attempt to rent you a motorbike with defective components. Or even worse, the owner may steal your rented motorbike and demand compensation. And keep in mind, you need a valid driver's certificate to drive in Vietnam. If you are caught driving without a valid license, the motorbike will be confiscated and you will be charged to have the motorbike returned. Therefore, be sure to rent from reliable motorbike rental shops. Keep your valid driving permit with you at all times and thoroughly check the motorbike and take photos of the bike before renting. The next scam we'll discuss are taxi drivers that overcharge or fake taxis. Real taxi drivers may sometimes attempt to overcharge using a meter that is rigged to calculate mileage faster or the driver may take a longer route to make you pay more. First make sure that the taxi has a meter and ask the driver for the price before entering the taxi. Beware of fake taxi drivers who use fake logos with no meter in their car. They will attempt to charge you excessive prices and may attempt to lock you inside the car until you pay. These fake taxi drivers may also take you to isolated locations to then take your money and your possessions. There are legitimate trustworthy taxi companies such as My Lin Taxi, phone number 035-518-1111 in North of Vietnam, 097-656-5656 5656 in the central area of Vietnam and 028-3827-7979 in the southern sector of Vietnam or the G7 taxi whose phone number is 024-32323232 There is also a Gab taxi app you can download on your phone to book a taxi You can also request that a receptionist at your hotel or at the airport book a taxi for you. The next scams are the tour and hotel booking scams. Hotel booking scams occur when you book a hotel showing low prices. Then when you arrive, they do a bait and switch, telling you the booked rooms are full or being renovated. They will then request extra fees for a higher priced room. They may even attempt to refuse the return of your passport unless you agree to change to the more expensive room. And tour booking scams occur when fake tour company websites are used. The scammer registers you and may even provide an itinerary and then they simply disappear once they have your money. You can avoid tour scams by booking only with reliable tour companies such as vietnamtour.in phone number 84-948-333-087 or email them at info at vietnamtour.in In the event you need emergency assistance while in Vietnam you should keep these numbers handy for police dial 113 for fire services dial 114 and for ambulance services, dial 115. And finally, illegal substances are illegal in Vietnam, and possession of even a small amount can result in a lengthy prison sentence or worse. Notify the police if you encounter anyone attempting to sell illegal substances to travelers. By keeping these red flags in mind, you can better protect yourself from falling victim to these scams. Remember, your safety and enjoyment are paramount. Always trust your gut feelings. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. In summary, staying vigilant and aware can save you from a lot of trouble while enjoying Vietnam's nightlife. These signs can help you identify and avoid potential scams ensuring that your nights out in Vietnam are both fun and safe.
staying vigilant and aware can truly make a difference in your travel experience, especially when it comes to enjoying the nightlife in Vietnam. We've covered a lot of ground today from understanding the prevalence of scams in popular tourist areas like Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi to identifying common tactics used by scammers. By being informed, you can protect yourself from falling victim to these scams. To recap, always be cautious of overly friendly locals who are eager to take you to a specific bar or club. Their friendliness might be a tactic to lure you into a scam. Pay attention to pushy staff to insist on high-priced items. This is a red flag that something isn't right. Beware of photo, tour booking, hotel booking, motorbike, and taxi scams. And never underestimate the importance of clear pricing. If prices aren't listed or seem excessively high, it's best to leave immediately. From being charged $200 for a single beer to experiencing drink tampering, the risks are real and can quickly ruin what should be an enjoyable night out. But with the knowledge you've gained today, you're better equipped to navigate these challenges and enjoy Vietnam's vibrant nightlife safely. In essence, enjoying Vietnam's nightlife safely means being prepared and cautious. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Trust your instincts and stay alert to ensure your nights are memorable for all the right reasons. We would love to hear your thoughts. Share your comments in the comments section below. If you liked this video, you will love our videos on living as an expat in Southeast Asia and is love for sale in China, Dating Truth Unveiled. Have you ever encountered a scam while traveling? Share your experience in the comments section below. Your stories can help others stay informed and safe. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips on obtaining happiness and enjoying a better quality of life. Stay safe and happy travels.